Good morning, y'all. It is Friday. We made it to Friday, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but baby, I am excited. So today is Friday. Y'all, I got up on my bed and I said, I'm gonna brush my hair. I'm gonna take my shower or whatever, brush my teeth. We're gonna take a walk this morning. Y'all, I get just to work in a minute. I get just to work in a minute, but y'all, it is Friday. Can we get excited because today is Friday? Thank you, Lord. It is Friday. Y'all, it has been a long, busy week. Full of highs, full of lows, you know, as life goes. But guess what? We're still here. The time's still ticking. As long as time is still ticking, we still got time. How about that? All right, y'all. So, this morning's inspiration the message is Why are you worried? Why are you worried? Ask yourself. Why are you worried? What are you worried about? Let's talk. So, sometimes in life, we get to a place to where we're like, worried about this, and worried about that, and this ain't gonna work, and that ain't gonna work. Do you trust God? Did he not bring you through the last time, and the time before that, and the time before that? So, why are we worried, you know? Why are you worried about your job? Did not God give you a job? Want to give you another one? Why are you worried about your kids? Don't you pray for them and cover them in prayer? Why are you worried about your relationship? Hmm? Didn't God bring that person to you? And if something happens, he brings somebody else? Why are you worried? What are you worried about? Oh, ye of little faith, y'all. We gotta stop worrying about things. There are a lot of things that are in this world that out of our control and it's designed to be that way because we're supposed to be able to trust God in everything so if God has control of everything what are we worried about if it's meant for us it'll be if it's not God trying to take it from us what are you worried about God never took anything that wasn't for you he only took things to give you something better come on now come on now say it with me if God took it it's something better coming simple it's just that simple so what are we worried about why are you worried this morning why were you worried last night say a prayer lay yourself down and go to sleep because you can't be worried about something and then giving it to god and still worried about it because then obviously you don't trust him and if you have your faith in god then who you got your faith in you know don't put your faith in man because man will deceive you every time Literally, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. You never know what somebody has in their mind or what they think in their mind, you know? So you can't trust people all the time and what they really won't do, because I'm telling y'all, I done had some things with some people done, and I'm like, I would have never thought that they would do that or never thought that that would happen, you know? And it happened. But you can't worry about those things. Y'all, stress comes from worrying about stuff. We gotta stop worrying about stuff. Don't worry about it. And I know, Keisha, it's hard not to worry, y'all. I used to worry about everything. When I tell you everything, everything. But then guess what? I started realizing it was taking away my happiness. It was taking away my peace of mind. Like it was still with my thoughts. I couldn't function on stuff. I'm at work thinking about stuff. I'm at church thinking about stuff. I'm sitting out eating with people. I'm thinking about stuff. Listen, let me, let me give y'all a little snippet of what I learned. You know, if you worry about something right now, you hurting yourself twice. Why would you want to do that? Because number one, you worried about it right now, you hurt it. So that's taking your energy and it hasn't happened. And what if it doesn't happen? What are you worried about? But if it does happen, then you can deal with it at that moment, right? So what are you worried about? Why would you want to hurt yourself twice? Why would you want to be bothered with something twice when it may or may not happen? And you worried about it sometimes. Everything that you think is going on, it's not going on. It's all in your head, you know? And that's what worrying is. It's just deep thoughts in your mind that you don't have answers to. But you're not supposed to have the answers to everything. Y'all used to want to have the answers to everything. I wanted to know everything. I wanted to know what was going to happen, when it was going to happen, why it was going to happen. So I could prepare myself. But then y'all, it caused more problems for me. Like I was so drained emotionally mentally because I was worried about stuff. Y'all choose to be happy. Choose not to worry about whatever. Whatever comes, comes. 
whatever goes, goes. It's just, you know, let it be. Let it be. And I'm not saying y'all ain't gonna worry because it's not gonna happen overnight. But practice not worrying. When you get those thoughts in your mind or whatever you worried about, just be like, I'm gonna give it to God and let it go. God, you handle that and let it go. You know, I used to worry about stuff that I had no control over. One thing you can't control is people, places, and things, and time. And that's everything, right? You can't control nothing but yourself. And sometimes, depending on what's going on around you, you lose self-control too. So you just have to just pray about everything and don't be worried about nothing. Because either way it go, things are gonna happen. But you being worried about it, it's not gonna help the situation. And it may or it may not happen. So why you worry? Didn't God bring you through whatever it was the first time? So he gonna do it again and again and again and again. Cause he's a God of a second chance, third chance, fourth chance, five chance. Y'all, how many chances y'all got? I know I done got several, okay? And he's still been good to me. So we're not gonna worry about nothing. We're not gonna be, you know, stressed out about stuff. We're not gonna let people stress us. We're not gonna let jobs stress us, situations, kids, spouses, people we with, friends, none of that worry us this year. This is a year of self-control and self-reflection. Last year, you worried about stuff. Did it change anything? No, it didn't. It still happened or it didn't happen. But you were still worried about it, y'all. Let that worry go so you have some happiness. Start replacing that worry with happiness and see how, how far God takes you. See how much happier you be when you stop worrying about stuff. Y'all don't worry about nothing. They be like, you should. You just don't let nothing save you no more. Because why am I worried about it? Whoever I'm worried about, they're not worried about me. Whatever I'm worried about, not worried about me. You know, whatever happened, it still happened anyway. Well, not always worry. So why worry? So now I just be like, okay. Because I got faith in God that whatever happened, he going to take care of me. He going to take care of it. You know? And that's just that on that, y'all. I love y'all. Stop worrying. We ain't worrying today. It's Friday, baby. It's Friday. Get it together, y'all. We ain't worrying today. It's almost the week. Well, it is the weekend. So we going to enjoy that, y'all. I love y'all. No worrying today. No worrying tomorrow. Because God has all under control. Bye.